CMA 542, the Tiger Squadron of the U.S. Marine Corps. VMA-542 has operated the Hawker Siddeley AV-8A Harrier V-Stall jet fighter since 1973. Today, the Marines deploy three AV-8A Harrier combat squadrons and a training unit. The AV-8A is the world's only operational V-stall aircraft. Powered by the Rolls-Royce Pegasus turbofan of 21,500 pounds thrust, the aircraft has revolutionized the Marines' air support and air combat tactics. 542 alone is accumulating an average of over 400 hours per month on the type. The AV-8A's ability to operate from a variety of environments enables it to be flown from improvised bases close to the forward battle zone. This ensures extremely rapid response in close air support of forces on the ground. Behind every successful sortie is a highly competent ground support team. The Tigers are extremely mobile, able to move their operational base quickly and efficiently, and to re-establish routine maintenance and overhaul work while operations continue. Deeper routine maintenance is carried out at one of the intermediate maintenance activity units that is located at the squadron base. In an exercise off the Florida coast, many of the Tigers pilots had their first carrier qualification flying with the AV-8A on board the USS Guam. Within a matter of hours of first landing on board, operations on deck became a matter of routine. An important part of the Marine Corps' AV-8A operations has been evaluating the aircraft within the sea control ship concept. 542 and other squadrons have taken part in these exercises. In addition to this concept, other exercises have taken the Tigers on board USS Guam a number of times, including support of amphibious assault troops during the large exercise Solid Shield in 1974. The aircraft's small size and nose wheel steering make it very maneuverable while taxiing. Okay, but I mean, 
Positioning the aircraft around the small deck was made to look easy. By rotating the nozzles forward a vertical, the aircraft can be taxied in reverse under its own power. On this exercise, routine servicing of the aircraft was carried out on deck. Between sorties, the aircraft were refueled and the pilots changed over, one group resting while another group took over the next series of sorties. Weather, temperature and visibility for most of the exercise were good, but AV-8As have operated from USS Guam in the North Atlantic and North Sea in ambient conditions of 10 degrees below freezing. As well as its ground attack capabilities, the AV-8A has added a new dimension to air combat maneuvering by using its vectored thrust principle in forward flight. 542 Squadron have exploited this advantage to the full in recent trials. During this short exercise on the Guam, the flight operations were intense, landing and taking off round the clock and throughout the night. We have seen here only one exercise, a very small part of the contribution that the Tigers are making in the progress of V-Stall military aviation. The age of high-performance vertical and short takeoff aircraft started a few years ago. It's in trials like these that VMA 542, along with sister squadrons, is demonstrating the AV-8A's unique ability and developing new methods of air warfare at sea and on land. The USMC is fully committed to the V-Stall concept, which it has itself helped to develop. The Marine Corps hopes to remain in the forefront of V-Stall technology and is already awaiting the development of an advanced Harrier to add to its inventory.